In the mid-80s and early 90s, there was a little TV sitcom called The Golden Girls. You may have heard of it. It featured four women who lived together in Miami. Each was mature, intelligent, and energetic. Those same traits describe Mary Jane Sorgel, Green Bay's real-life Golden Girl. Fans of the green and gold all know that Paul Horning is the golden boy. Star takes the ball, hands off to Horning, sweep to the left side, he's got the block, he's inside the 10, he's got the 5, cuts into the end zone for the touchdown! The Packer backers are ecstatic. Not even the mud can dim the luster of their golden boy. And everywhere the golden boy went, a golden girl wasn't far behind. The Golden Girls were the Packers cheerleaders from 1961 to 1972. The team was under the tutelage of their namesake, Green Bay's original Golden Girl, Mary Jane Sorgel, who was discovered in 1949 by the director of the Packers lumberjack band, Wilner Burke. Well, I started twirling the baton at about nine years old, and I seemed to be pretty good at it. And Wilner Burke, he saw me twirl, and he said, I'd like to have you come on to the band, with the band on the following Sunday. And my whole life has been the Packers. I never quit. From there, a more than 60-year affiliation with the team began. And the Golden Girls shined brightest during the Packers' darkest days. And bad move for the Packers. The Bears are dealing out more grief to Green Bay. The team was so bad in the 1950s, the band often probably was more entertaining than the team. And she was the drum major at. She was an integral part of the organization from the standpoint of what it was doing to entertain its fans. Everybody knew who the Golden Girl was in Green Bay. She was almost like a face of the franchise. The franchise would soon have a new face. and the Golden Girl would have a new role. Coach Lombardi decided that it would be nice that I could start a group, you know, to, to be pom-pom girls, and he's, he'd like that so much. Things happened so unexpectedly. It just was wonderful. My friends just couldn't believe that I was a Packer Golden Girl. That was like something that was held in a very high rank at that time. Like everything during his tenure in Green Bay, Lombardi oversaw the Golden Girls as well. He would write letters to me and what he wanted to do for the following week, and then I just took it from there. Mary Jane had to have everything okayed through Vince Lombardi first, from what we wore to the length of the skirt. He liked them to be really um, ladies. Let's move a little bit now. Let's go. Let's get ourselves ready here. Lombardi's main influence was on the field, turning the Packers into the NFL's gold standard. On the coldest New Year's Eve in the cold, cold history of Green Bay, the Packers met the Dallas Cowboys at the Eastern Conference for the championship of the National Football League. I can't describe how cold I was. And then the couple girls had some blankets, but they were warriors. They were, they worked. They didn't want to leave the field. 16 seconds remaining, 17 to 14. Cowboys out in front. Starr takes the snap. He's got the quarterback sneaking. He's got the touchdown. The Green Bay Packers are going to be NFL champions for the third straight year. Mary Jane and her Golden Girls were fixtures at Lambeau Field during the Packers' golden era. But decades after hanging up her baton, her impact can be heard at every Packers home game. Coach Lombardi wanted to get the fans going. And then I decided that we'd do Go Pack Go. And to this day, I keep saying they're doing it again. Go, back, go! Go, back, go! Go, back, go! Go, back, go! I'm a lot of time. 
kind of addicted. Like, go pack, go, go pack, go. The Golden Girl was a star in Green Bay, but some golden opportunities brought her fame nationwide. Uh, do we have a Mary Jane Sorgel here? Hi, Mary Jane, how are you? Nice to see you. So many things name? happen along the way. Nice to have you. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> Every show I can think of, people calling me Sally Jesse and Mario Lopez, even Ross Limbo. But Letterman started it. Nice. Nice, nice job, nice job, Mary Jane Sorgel. Succeed with the Packers, and you become a legend in Green Bay. Now in her golden years, the golden girl is still an icon in Titletown. So I want to show over here. So I have this wall uh -huh. that various former Packers have signed. But what I thought would be cool, I'd like you to sign the wall as well yeah, I... as the original cheerleader. I feel honored and very happy with my life. I think back of all the things in the years, and sometimes I just think it seems like a dream. I just, it was wonderful.